Hi everyone, welcome to Canva Tip Weekly. This week I'm going to be talking about something very simple, but I think that something is slept on and it is links, links within document. I don't mean the main character from Zelda, little nerd humor there for you. I mean links as in I add a link into a PDF. This is my how to use your logo guide, which is going to be in my digital eShop and I am preparing it right now with links, links to Canva templates. So let's do that together. So I have this page, which is the scoop on my opinions on email signatures. There's another video in my YouTube about my approach to email signatures when it comes to Canva. So I've already got this link, but let's generate another one. So first I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna remove this completely because I wanna start from scratch. I'm going to hit my trusty, uh, hot key, which is T on my keyboard. I hit a little T and that pops up with text. T for text. Let's do that again. T. Boop. If you don't want to do that, if you hate keyboards, then you can come over here to text and then click on any of these. So I could add a heading, add a subheading, add a little bit of body text. So I'm just going to go ahead and click add a subheading because it's my best vibe right now. It's, it's what we're going to do. Okay, we're gonna delete that. Now, I want this to be a link to generate um, or a link to a Canva template for an email signature. So I'm going to do click for template. I'm going to left align it because I'm working with a grid over here. So I'm gonna come up here, alignment, left align. And then I'm going to drag it over until I see those pink dots. And that means it's aligned. Here's a fun little trick that Canva just added. To, instead of having to add a little blocky block behind it, click on your link, come over here to text effects, move yourself out of the way first, come over here to effects, background. This has been revolutionary for me. Click background. What? Are you joking? This is huge for me. Um, I'm going to increase the roundness all the way because I want a pill. That's what it's called when you have a round shape like this versus a flat. It's called a pill. And then the spread I could make really uh, big or really tight. So I'm going to go 100% and I'm going to change the color to my yellow color that I'm using here. And now I've got text that looks like a button, which is great for me. I don't have to have all of these shapes. Cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a clickable link so that when I sell this PDF in my digital eShop at letsgostudio.com, wait, yeah, let's go dot studio and I own letsgostudio.com. That's a whole story. When I, when people click on this as a PDF, it's going to open that link. So let's come over here to the email signature. I'm working on a few more, but this is just like a basic one to get people started. I'm going to click share and then click on this template link copy and I hit I like to hit copy like 10 times it's like the elevator button like I know it did copy the first time but we're just gonna double check like if you hit the up elevator button like did it did the elevator know but no it's just a few more times okay we're, we're good then you come over here then up at the top right there is a link and you can click on that and paste in the link hit enter and when you see the underline it means it has worked. Well, let's test that out. Did that really just work, Olivia? It did, but let's test it out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna admire my beautiful PDF. I'm gonna zoom out and admire. It's one of my favorite things to do. Oh, look at her. And then I'm going to hit the share button. I'm going to click download. They changed this whole menu, by the way. So now all my old videos have wrong menus. Love that. I want a standard PDF. I don't need it to be high quality for print. It's a digital download. So I'm gonna click PDF standard and I'm gonna click download. We're going to hydrate while we wait. Wait and hydrate. Hydrate while you wait means you always... Ugh, that's yesterday's water. <laughs> Let's do today's water, right? We're gonna save this. I actually don't know if you guys can see this part of my screen. I'm just gonna save this into my Dropbox, how to use your logo demo. And then I'm gonna come over here to Dropbox, which is what I use personally. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna ignore all of the, the things telling me things. And we're gonna go to how to, where's that? file I just saved in here. 
uh, how do you, here it goes, how to use your logo, PDF, it's gonna open in a new window. We're gonna scroll down to my linky link here. Oh gosh, it's gonna load. We're gonna click on, the, oh. There it is, I had the wrong one. We're gonna click on template, and there it is. There's my link, it's gonna, here's a template created for you by Let's Go Studio. I also have this one, which is my recommendation for email signatures, Signature Hound. So you click on that and it opens up, and that's links. You can add links to things. Now, this works as PDFs and for internal Canva documents as well. So it's obviously not gonna work on social media because you can't have a link in social media and it's not gonna work in your email signature. Please watch my email signature video for me to go over that. But it will work if you've got a larger team document and you want to tell people like, hey, click over here. Um, you can uh, point to different places in a document. So for example, if I were to add this link down here, you could add a link to a recent document or a page in the document. I haven't been able to get this to work. It would be really cool if you could make a clickable pay table of contents, but it hasn't been working for me. Let's check and see if the recording made this possible. Let's see here. See, this is where I'm trying it. Nope, not clickable yet. But this is a great way to add links into your PDFs and you can do what I'm doing, sell content, sell Canva templates. This is how people um, get that link to sell Canva templates. So use Canva to deliver those links. All right, guys, uh, go link it up.